Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything you need to know about London, Ontario. Well, almost everything, because there's a lot of info you need to know before you move to a new area. And I'll do my best to give you as much info about London, Ontario as possible. So, uh, I did the research so you don't have to. First, where is it? Uh, London is a city in southwestern Ontario, Canada. The city has a population of 422,324 according to 2021 statistics. London is known to be the forest city because it, when it was established in the 1855, it had a dense forest and up to this date, it has a lot of trees and trail and beautiful green space. So if you're thinking about moving to London, Ontario, here's what you need to know. I broke it down to nine main points. Let's start with the first point, which is the weather. London, Ontario has a better weather than a lot of other cities in Canada because it's not as cold in the winter and it doesn't get as much snow. This is because London is close to the Great Lakes, which help keep the temperature from getting too cold or too hot. For example, in the winter, London's average temperature is about minus 6 degrees Celsius, which is much warmer than places like Winnipeg or Edmonton, where it can drop to minus 15 or colder. London also gets less snow. Last year, I think it didn't snow much and uh, snow didn't last long. So you don't have to shovel as much as like if you live in Ottawa, for example. So if you like milder winters and not too much snow, London's weather is pretty great compared to other Canadian cities. In 2023, the highest temperature we got in London, Ontario was uh, on June 2nd, 32 degrees Celsius. The lowest was February 3rd, 2023, which was minus 16.9 degrees Celsius, which was at night. The lowest uh, daily temperature was minus 10.5. And minus 10.5 is very warm, especially if you compare to other colder provinces, such as Alberta or Saskatchewan, for example. If you compare it to its, uh, other cities in Ontario, it's still warmer in general. Let's see this chart for example. As you can see on this chart from last year, uh, in July, uh, Ottawa the highest was uh, 26 degree and in London was the same 26 degree the highest. Uh, the lowest uh, was um, in January for example, Ottawa the lowest was minus 14 degree celsius in london it was minus eight degrees celsius so ottawa is colder in the winter and february the same thing and march the same thing so it's in general london is warmer than ottawa according to this chart from last year let's look at this other chart um, comparing london to toronto weather from last year january the high was nine degrees uh, in London and the highest in Toronto in January was minus one degree Celsius. So the winter is warmer in London, Ontario compared to uh, Toronto. If we look at this chart from another province, uh, we're comparing here London, Ontario to Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, as you can see, the dots in the line is the how it feels, not the actual temperature. It feels like minus 22 in January in Edmonton while in London, Ontario, uh, which is um, in the blue line, uh, the blue line for London, Ontario, it felt uh, minus 12 in January, compared to uh, the feeling of minus 22 degrees Celsius in Edmonton. So that's a big difference in the cold, um, how you feel the cold in each of the two cities. And uh, in the summer, uh, July, uh, the highest uh, in London was 26 degrees compared to Edmonton, which was 17 degrees. And it felt in London, uh, the green line here, it felt like 24 degrees, while in Edmonton, it felt like 13 degrees, which is the highest. So uh, definitely the, wind, the summer is warmer in London, Ontario compared to Edmonton, city in Alberta. So summertime in London, which is June to August, during this month, it's the warmest and driest time of the year with temperature ranging from 20 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius on average. We have about around 286 days of sun, which means you have lots of sunny days to enjoy both summer and winter outdoor activities. If you're finding any value from this video, make sure you subscribe so you get notified on my future videos. 
the second point I want to talk about in this video is how affordable London, Ontario is. We all know the cost of living is going ev up everywhere in Canada and London is no different. However, London, Ontario is still considered much more affordable than other cities in Ontario. Cost of living is still less than cities such as Toronto and Vancouver. Let's look at some data. According to Nambio, a single person estimated monthly cost are $1,380 uh, a month without rent. London is 14.3% less expensive than Toronto. Rent in London on average is 22.7% lower than in Toronto. House prices, the price of detached homes can vary significantly between London, Ontario and Toronto and Ottawa. With Toronto generally being the most expensive followed by Ottawa and then London. Now London, Ontario tends to have the most affordable detached homes in the, of the three cities. The average price for a detached home in London is typically between $650,000 and $800,000. That's in 2024, depending on the area, of course. Remember, these numbers are just approximate and can fluctuate based on market conditions. Now my third point I want to cover is job opportunity. Big companies are moving here to London Ontario. For example, Volkswagen is planning to build its first overseas battery manufacturing plant in St. Thomas, which is very close to London Ontario. The company would establish an electric vehicle EV battery manufacturing facility in the city, which is south of London. According to this article at news.ontario.ca, the plant Volkswagen's largest to date will create up to 3,000 direct jobs and up to 30,000 indirect jobs. That's just amazing. Best places to work in uh, London, Ontario, according to London Inc. magazine in 2022, some of the best places to work are Asus Apps, the industry of this company is technology events with 225 employees, LVMX Inc. is a software company that has 81 employees, Mobiles Inc, Industry and Technology Automotive Company, 95 employees, Cognition Plus, which is an insurance and technology company, and it has 102 employees. And there's many other great companies, and there's also jobs in small and mid-sized companies here in London, Ontario. Also, London Economic Development Corporation provides a lot of services. Many of them are free such as attracting businesses to invest in London, Ontario and expand here by offering a unique and compelling solution that solves a real need for their company. So if you're looking to open and grow your own business, London is a great place to do so. Now let's talk about the average salary in London. The average salary here in London, Ontario is uh, annually 61,000K. The most popular occupations in London, Ontario are software developer, human resource manager, and law clerk, which pays between 41,000 a year to 101,000 a year. Some of the most popular employers in London, Ontario are Canada Life, uh, Carfax, and Learners, Learners LLP. Next, I'm going to be talking about the diverse culture in London, Ontario. London is a very welcoming and diverse community. There's a South Asian, Chinese, Black, Arab. Um, London has a large community of different religious groups, including Baha'is, Buddhists, Christians, First Nation, Inuit, Metis, Hindus, Muslims, and other faith and religion. The great thing about London is that it's welcoming everyone. Whether you are a newcomer, whether you lived here all your life, you are welcome here in London, regardless of your race, your gender, your origin, and your ethnicity. If you are finding any value from this video, make sure you comment down below and subscribe so you motivate me to make more future videos that add value to you. If you like sports, then uh, the next point will be helpful for you. I'm going to talk about sports and recreation in London, Ontario. We have ice hockey, football, baseball, basketball, soccer. Uh, there's a Thames Valley Parkway, uh, which uh, whether you want to walk, run, ride, rollerblade, or simply just sit and enjoy the scenery, the Thames Valley Parkway has something for you. Thames uh, Valley Parkway 
is situated on a scenic park lands along the Thames River. The Thames uh, Valley Parkway is the city's primary multi-use recreational trail. Uh, it's currently around 45 kilometers in length. In length, it offers scenic river crossings and, and it's linked to over 150 kilometers of additional pathways connecting all corners of London. If you love hiking, there's a lot of hiking paths such as Sifton Bog Trail in West London, Panshaw Rail Trail, which is 3.4 km high, or a daunting 20 km hike for those ambitious hikers looking to spend the whole day among the breathtaking nature. And Fox Hollow Raven, it's a 5.1 km trail. You also have Cane Woods, you have West Westminster Ponds, and many other amazing trails to enjoy the beautiful outdoors and fresh air. London also has ESA, which stands for Environmentally Significant Areas, uh, which are natural gems tucked away throughout the city. Each ESA is a protected, ecologically diverse, and a unique area where people can enjoy birding, hiking, and uh, with a valid provincial fishing license, they can enjoy fishing. So in London, you can go hiking, biking, there's a lot of close by lake for swimming, there's ski in the winter like at Boulder Mountain, there's kayaking, paddle boarding, whatever your heart desires, you can do it in London, Ontario. We have also lots of golfers who love London because we have Riverbend 50 plus uh, golf community. Uh, we have a lot of other golf clubs in London where you can enjoy golf, including uh, Thames Valley Golf Club, Fire Rock Golf Club, uh, Fanshawe Golf Club, East Park Golf Gardens, Echo Valley Golf Club, and Cl Crumling uh, Creek Golf Club, uh, and uh, many others. Another thing you might need to know about London is the education here. We got here in London great schools, especially French immersion schools. We also have Fanshawe College with a lot of programs. We also have one of the best universities in Canada, which is Western University. For those of you with the little kids, we have lots of good elementary schools. We have one of the top ranked schools in all over Ontario. For example, Masonville Public School in Masonville neighborhood has a 9.4 over 10 score. John Deerness Public School in Hazelden neighborhood has a score of 9.3 uh, over 10. That's taken from the Fraser Institute's school ranking system and many schools in Byron, Northridge, Old North, Sunningdale, Riverbend, Stony Creek, Summerside, Old South, Heidi Park, Storybrook, Westmount, we're all ranked higher than seven over 10, which is great. It's amazing because that gives families with school age kids a lot of options when looking to buy or rent in a neighborhood with good schools in London, Ontario, which was very important to me when I first moved here a couple of years ago. For university and college students, um, London is one of the best cities in Canada to get your diploma or degree or even your PhD or master's degree. We have one of the top universities in all over Canada with a lot of fields to study. Western University is a publicly uh, is a public university located in uh, London, Ontario. It's a large institution with an enrollment of uh, over 20,000 undergraduate students every year. Western campus is built on over 1,300 acres and it's one of the most beautiful campuses in all of Canada. Western University also has 11 on-campus residents, providing a safe and welcoming living community for students and scholars. Fenshaw College also is another post-secondary option that I mentioned and it offers a lot of career focused and job ready programs. They also offer not only diploma programs but also some degree programs uh, as well including they have a degree in accounting, digital marketing, HR manager, management, and many others. Next, I'm going to be talking about provincial parks near London, Ontario. We have Komoka Provincial Park, which is about 20 minutes drive from London. You can do camping, skiing, snowshoeing, hiking, and enjoy a beautiful nature and outdoors. And we also have another 
a great provincial park which is a pinery provincial park that is one hour drive from london pinery park is a provincial park that has a great beach it's awesome to visit especially in the summer uh, beside lake huron and uh, you can also bike hike and run there it also has a lot of things to do in the winter such as cross-country skiing ice skating snowshoeing or hiking they have around 38 kilometers of trails next what we need to know about a new area we want to move to is the community and the safety uh, wherever community you settle in most communities in london are very friendly everyone in london is friendly in general and uh, it's a safe city in general you can always look at the specific area you're interested in and check the crime stats if that's interest you but in general london is a safe city and welcoming city next i'm going to talk about growth according to microtrends population in london has grown in the last 10 years from 527,000 to 574,000. The city is growing with more people moving in, especially from the GTA and from other expensive cities. According to the London Free Press, London region population is expected to boom by 50% over the next 25 years. In summary, London, Ontario is a great place to consider to call home. It has everything you need. If this is your first time on my channel and you're planning to move to London, Ontario or you have any questions about the area, feel free to connect with me. I will leave my contact information in the description. I will be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to London, Ontario. And if you found any value in this video, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to London, Ontario. Thank <laughs> you.